Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. The telephone number is 631-756-1125. Best prices in town on hardware, mulch, topsoil, generators, pumps, whatever you need to make sure your home is in good condition here. So head over to Omni, serving the entire New York, New Jersey, tri-state area. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. We're going to start with the tropics this morning. We have uh, Hurricane Danielle, which is uh, sitting up here on the satellite view at the very top of the satellite picture here. Uh, it has uh, hardly moved in the last uh, couple of days, just kind of sitting there churning along. We have Tropical Storm Earl, which formed last night when uh, Air Force Reconnaissance Aircraft was able to close off the center and found winds of 45 knots or more. It's a minimal tropical storm. It's got kind of a sheared look to it. Uh, in other words, if you look toward the western uh, edge of the convection, uh, there's not a whole lot going on on the west side. It's more to pretty much to the east of the center, and it's on a west-northwest track. This thing's been out here all week long. We've been sort of waiting for it to eventually develop, and it finally has. And uh, a third tropical wave with a Low-level circulation, but very little in the way of showers and thunderstorms moving to the northwest. And that's going to get sheared apart by Danielle. So Earl is going to uh, continue west-northwest and then turn north and then eventually turn to the northeast. Uh, based on everything that I looked at this morning, uh, It uh, you can see the hurricane model forecast tracks here. Uh, the center is actually forecast to come... Uh, pass to the east of Bermuda, uh, which is uh, on this map. It's way up there, right there. That's Bermuda. So uh, except for one track that brings it close, the rest of them all recurve it to the north and then to the northeast. So it is no threat, obviously, to the U.S. In the meantime, let's get our holiday weekend underway. And we've got uh, sunshine, a few patchy clouds showing up on the satellite to the west. Uh, there is tropical moisture uh, coming up from the Pacific and moving on to the northeast. But most of that is going to stay away, the heavy stuff anyway. I don't see any shower or thunderstorm activity for today. And also for, I think, a good chunk of Sunday, we should be all right. Monday is still a bit of a, a different story. Here's the radar this morning uh, as of uh, 9 a.m. And you'll notice it's quiet in the east. Uh, there are some showers and downpours on this Labor Day in parts of southern Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, down into Tennessee, and a little arm there that, ex that extends up uh, into northern Georgia with even a couple of flash flood warnings that have been issued for a few places. Also seeing a little bit of activity in the west and uh, back in parts of Texas and along the Gulf Coast. The Gulf Coast is likely to be the focus of attention here uh, as far as uh, showers and thunderstorms are concerned uh, going forward. The Storm Prediction Center for today has a couple of small areas of marginal risk, actually three, one in the Ohio Valley, another one back in Oklahoma, and another one in Southern California, Southern Nevada, and parts of Arizona. No severe weather is forecast tomorrow, although we introduced the possibility, at least from SPC standpoint, of some general thunderstorm activity. And then as we go further to the east on Monday, uh, the area expands down to along the coastal plain. But at least for now, we don't have uh, any risk being indicated. And uh, looking at the potential here for some rainfall uh, in the coming seven days, uh, it looks like the threat time is going to be uh, during Labor Day, uh, favoring areas more north and west of the coast, and then maybe moving toward the coast later on in the afternoon and evening. Uh, you can see one and a half inches plus uh, throughout much of Pennsylvania, upstate New York, northeast PA, northern New Jersey, uh, into central New England, lower amounts as you head down, but at least uh, half an inch to an inch being indicated here uh, as this area moves on uh toward the uh, coast so as we take a look at how this is all going to play out uh, i'll show the wide view since a lot of you may be traveling around today uh, we've got uh, a tropical storm off the coast of baja california that's feeding that more some of that moisture into the southwest 
Not a whole lot happening here in the east. Our high is giving way. Humidity levels coming up today. Temperatures in the 80s. Tomorrow, the front gets a little closer. This is tomorrow evening. So we'll throw in that there could be a chance for a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow evening scattered about. I think for the vast majority of folks in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, it's probably not going to be an issue. But as we get to Monday and that front starts to get closer, this is where uh, it becomes a little more problematic. And Tropical Storm Earl is on the lower right of this uh, feed, this uh, picture here for, sun, uh, for Monday morning. Uh, the GFS's radar is um, a little more extensive, brings in rain to the coast about six hours faster than the other models. So I just want to point that out. Uh, and then that rain continues Monday night into Tuesday morning. It could be a good soaking rain, which is well needed. Now, the one thing to look for is if the front gets hung up, that rain could be delayed. Uh, uh, it'll get into Pennsylvania, it'll get into upstate New York and into New England, but maybe for coastal New Jersey and Long Island, if you're at the shore or shore bound, you might be able to get away with the, the day being rain free. There'll probably be clouds around and that's going to hold temperatures down. And then we will eventually get into this at some point later Monday, Monday night and Tuesday. And then gradually as we go through the day on Tuesday, the rain starts to sink to the southeast. Earl moves away to the northeast, and we see generally improving weather conditions uh, with regards to the rest of next week, uh, which uh, looks like after we get through whatever happens later Monday into Tuesday, it will be dry. Uh, the European uh, from overnight, just to give you some comparison, so here's Sunday morning, and you see there's not a whole lot happening uh, even into Sunday, Sunday evening is when you start to see the chance that there could be a scattered shower or thunderstorm. Monday, uh, it gets there's stuff close by, and then by Monday afternoon, you start to see that rain area push toward the coast, and then reaching the coast late uh, late in the day on Monday, Monday night into Tuesday. So Monday's kind of the tricky day in the forecast here with regards to the timing of some showers and thunderstorms and the arrival of the cold front. But today looks fine. I think most of tomorrow, unless you get a shower or thunderstorm scattered around the afternoon or evening, you should be okay. And then we still have big question marks for Monday. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number. The website, omnitruevalue.com. So enjoy your further first day of this Labor Day holiday weekend. The Joe and Joe Show will be back tomorrow at uh, either 11 a.m. or 12 noon. Haven't figured that, that out yet, but we will be on tomorrow morning either at 11 a.m. or 12 noon. So watch your notifications. Uh, enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you later.